Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing an Ipsy unbagging video and showing you guys what I did receive in this month's Ipsy bag and letting you know my thoughts and opinions on what I did receive in the bag. So if you guys are interested, please keep watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys. So, of course, everyone I'm sure knows Ipsy pink bag. So I'm not going to get go too crazy in depth with explaining it because it's just a subscription service just like Birchbox. You pay $10 a month and they send you a bag full of goodies. So without dragging anything out, I'm just going to open this. All right. Okay, so here is the card that is in this month's bag. It looks like that the theme's kind of like a rebel kind of thing. I don't know. And then it just says what gives a little thing on the back. And then this is the bag. This is so cute. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm sorry. This is a really cute bag. I, I don't really like Ipsy, like the bags all the time that they send. Um, but they this one is really cute. This is super cute. It's all like graffiti and everything. That's so adorable. Alright, so getting over the bag. Going into the bag, the first thing that I do see is... Happy Hibiscus Natural Blush for All Skin Tones. This was pulled out of the box. I don't know why. I don't know. All right. Um, so this is gluten-free, paraben-free, no mineral oil, vegan, 99% natural. Okay, so pretty good product. It's, it is cruelty-free. It has a little logo right there on the back. Um, and it looks like it's just like a blush. This is hard. Oh my god, I can't open it. Why can't I open this? Oh, this is hard to open. Okay, okay, cord. There we go. All right. So that's what the blush looks like. It it's pretty. I mean, it looks like it's very shimmery though. Oh, I dug a little too much in there. Um. All right. So that's what the color looks like. That, that's a pretty color. I mean, it is a little bit more shimmery for me for more than my liking, but I will give it a try and see how I like it. it it's probably going to be really pretty in summertime, to be honest, because it has that sheen to it. So I will give it a try. The next thing that is in here is the Hey Honey 24-7 Honey and Day, Honey Day Night Moisturizing Cream. So I have received a lot of these um, Hey Honey products before, especially in Birchbox. They have a lot of skincare products. I haven't used them yet, though, so I can't tell you how they are. But I do know that these are very popular in Birchbox. Um, they have a lot of creams, a lot of masks, and everything. So this just says that it's a 24-7 rich cream that is neither greasy nor sticky and is ideal for, to use on the face and neck and even eye to contour areas. Use on delicate areas that are commonly the first sign, show the first signs of aging. Huh. Okay then. Well, that looks interesting. Oh, I was going to smell it, but it has a little tab thing on it that's always like impossible to get off. Maybe not. It does have a smell. But, I mean, I'll give it a try. Who doesn't like a day cream? I mean, as long as it's not greasy for me, because I do get oily throughout the day, so as long as this is not greasy, then we won't have a problem with it. Alright, so the next thing is everything balm. Hmm. I think the brand is Delectable, I think. I'm not sure. This is what it looks like. It's a little pink bottle. Let me know if you guys received this because I really don't know what the brand is. <laughs> so it looks like that this is pretty uh, basically what it says, like in everything bomb. It plumps, glosses, lips, softens, heals, teams, teams brows, conditions cuticles, pops cheekbones, brightens dark circles, and nourishes dryness. Hmm. I mean, I mean, if that does everything that it says, I mean, I don't know how it would do all of that. But I guess it smells really good. It smells like candy. Alright, so let's see. 
Oh, so it's cut. Kind of, it's like a clear. It's just like a little clear balm like that. It is. It's. It's a little tacky. But not like tacky, like lip gloss tacky. It feels more of just like um, like Vaseline consistency. I don't know. The last two things in my bag here, I have a Formula X nail polish that's obviously sold in Sephora. Really excited about these. I really like their nail polishes. Oh man, I got this color already. They sent me this last summer, but it's okay. It's a, it's a pretty color. Pretty color for summer, just like a bright pink Formula X. This is in the shade. Doesn't say the shade on here. Okay, well... I'll try to find the shade for you guys if you're interested. If not, it is sold in Sephora. <laughs> so, the thing I'm so excited for is this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Lounge. I don't know if Urban Decay recently collaborated with Ipsy. I don't know what was going on, but from what I saw, a lot of people were receiving this and Fireball in their Ipsy bag and I don't really know why but I mean I'm fine with it. I don't know if they're like relaunching some of their shades if these are newer shades. I don't really know but hey who doesn't love an Urban Shadow right? And then this is oh <laughs> duh Courtney it says right in here it's our 20th birthday and to mark the occasion we are letting you road test our most iconic shades. Is it green or is it red? No, you're not under the influence. This trippy duotone shade actually changes color before your eye. Okay, so it's a duochrome shadow. Obviously not full size whatsoever. Whoa. That is, I mean, it's it's pretty though. Yep. Mm -hmm. People were saying, because, okay, so there's what it looks like. The swatch. It looks really brown there, but you can see it kind of picks up some green, some blue duo tones in there. Um, I did hear that this is identical to a Makeup Geek one. I'm not going to have it. I believe this one. Ah. Seriously? Okay. So I do have it. This is in Havoc. I did hear that these are literally like dupes for each other. So this is Havoc by Makeup Geek and this is Lounge by Urban. So obviously Havoc is a little bit more brown maybe. This one is, the Urban Decay one is definitely a lot more brighter. But I think swatched next to each other you are not going to notice a difference really. Because okay they swatch just the same. Like, here's Urban and here's Makeup Geek. They are literally, like, identical. And then, I would just mix myself up. Here is Makeup Geek. Yeah, so they are literally, like, dupes for each other. Debunked. Um, yeah, they literally are swatched as the same. I will say in the pan, though, the Urban Decay one, it does look a bit brighter. But as you can see, I just swatched it, held them side by side. Side by side, they don't look identical. One does look like it would be brighter, but they are literally like the same thing. But then again, too, that's also not a full-size one. The Urban Decay shadows, they do retail for, I think it's 19, just like the individual pan, like pots. Um... And then the Makeup Geek ones, a duochrome, I think they are $6. So, I mean, that's up to you what you want to spend it on. But just so you know that there are dupes out there for things. I'm glad I had that on hand. Um, but, yeah. So, overall, it's not a bad Ipsy bag. I do like some of the things that I received in it. I'm not mad at it. Um, so, I will. if you guys want, just like how in my Birchbox video, if you want me to do a follow-up with any of the products, just leave a comment down below. And let me know if you guys want to see a follow-up. If you guys want to see a Birchbox vs. Ipsy video, I can unbox, unbag both products, both things in this video and say which one I like more. So let me know what you guys want to see. If not, we'll just keep it at this. We'll keep it chill. Um, so let me know. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want to see next. 
even let me know over on Instagram. I am very, very active over there. I respond to everything. So let me know. Reach out to me. Talk to me. So I will see you guys next time in my video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.